Yeah, we back, back again, man. Now, today we're going to be talking about the Central African nation of Chad. But before we get into that, we're going to take a trip back to my last video where I spoke about how the military government in Niger is currently in negotiations for the expulsion of French troops away from their national territory. And this brother right here, I'm not the biggest fan of his commentary, but I, I thought what he had to say was very interesting. He said this, let there be no doubt, this is a massive event in African politics and history. With France's coming withdrawal from Niger, it means that it has largely been evicted from the Sahel as a military influence. However, and there's always a however in these matters, France is still a regional power in West and Central Africa. France will defend its coastal influence in Gabon, Ivory Coast, and Senegal at all costs, as it has a massive military presence and commerce presence in these countries. Furthermore, France and even local elites will loathe to give up the CFA franc zone. And as long as that exists, France still has pervasive stake to West African influence. France still likely has about 20 to 30 years left of meddling in coastal West Africa to go, but we are nearer the end than the beginning. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of his commentary, but I thought what he had to say was interesting, and I agree. I agree. These things are not going to happen in one day, one year. These things are a process, man. It's a, it's a process, and it's going to be, and it's going to include a lot of diplomatic warfare, a lot of economic warfare, and sometimes even a lot of physical warfare as well. So, but anyways, let's jump into the topic of today's video. We're going to talk about what's going on in Chad. In the city of Faya in North Central Chad, there were large gatherings against the French military presence in the area on September 6th. The protests followed the killing of a Chadian soldier by a French army medic. Now before we get into the story, let's talk about the, the geopolitical situation of Chad because Chad, similar to Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali, they're also under a military government, but they are not under a revolutionary military government. No, this is a this is a puppet regime. This is an extension of the administration of Idris Deby that's been in power for the past 30 years. He was in power for over 30 years until he died, and now his son assumed power in a military coup that was backed by France. So this is not a revolutionary regime. Do not let the military uniform fool you. These boys is in the pocket of Paris. These boys, they, they're the Elysee boys. They're not revolutionary at all. These boys ain't about nothing. Anyway, let's continue. Let's get into it. Take a look up on the screen. Despite Chad's leader, Mohamed Idris Deby, coming to power in a coup, Chad is one of the closest allies of France in Africa. Macron stated just after the coup that France will never let anyone, either today or tomorrow, ever challenge Chad. Man, that's how you know these boys is not the revolutionary boys. These boys is the Elysee boys. They not revolutionary. They be hanging out at the Champs Elysees. They not about that life. You know what I'm saying? Take off the military garb. Ain't nothing revolutionary about y'all. Let's continue. Now, take a look up on the screen. You can see this is an old article from Reuters back in uh, 2021. It says this, with an eye on the Islamist fight, France backs the Chad military takeover. Now you see, you see, when you are in support of the interests of France, they have no problem with you throwing democracy in the trash. They have no problem with that. They don't care about that. It's only when you go against their economic and geopolitical interests, that's when they start backing out the Bible scriptures talking about democracy and civilian governance and all this bullshit, man. Take that shit back to where it came from, man. I ain't trying to hear it. Y'all some, man, I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. Yo, can't stand these folks, man. But anyways, take a look up on the screen. After Muhammad's father, Idris Deby, died on the 20th of April, 2021, the military announced that the elected government and National Assembly have been dissolved and that a transitional military council led by Muhammad will lead the nation for 18 months. A new charter replaced the constitution of Chad, making Muhammad the interim president and head of the armed forces. Some political actors within Chad have labeled the installing of the transitional military government as a coup, as the constitutional provisions regarding the filling of a presidential vacancy were not followed. Namely, according to the constitution, the president of the National Assembly, Harun Kabadi, should have been named as the acting president after the death of Idris Deby and an early election called within a period of no less than 45 to 90 days from the time of the vacancy. However, one of Chad's main foreign policy allies, France, has defended the development as necessary, citing the exceptional circumstances caused by the rebellion. The broader international community has also supported Deby, seeing him as a stable foothold in the Sahel. Debbie was even welcomed to Washington, D.C. as part of a summit for African leaders. Man, this boy, he's not a revolutionary. He's an Elysee boy. He's a Washington, D.C. boy. You know what I'm saying? He's a, bro, ain't nothing. Listen, take the goddamn military boots off, boy. <laughs> take, the, tell, take the military boots off, but who you fooling, bro? Man, you need to go to Hollywood without that actor. Nigga, nigga acting like a revolutionary, man. Take the goddamn military, take the military jacket off, bro. These boys is some clowns, man. Let's continue. The president of Chad, Mohamed Debbie, has received significant support from the West, most notably from France, the former colonial power. Emmanuel Macron attended the funeral of Idris Deby, his father, where he pledged his support for the junior Deby's government and for the stability of Chad. Stability which France further supported through Operation Barkane, which positioned a 5,000 French force in the Sahel with the headquarters in Chad. 
Debbie also visited Macron at the Elysee Palace in June 2021, where the two discussed the political transition in Chad. Man, I told you, this boy is the Elysee boy. You know what I'm saying? You an Elise boy. Take off the military. Take off the military uniform. Take off the military boots off your goddamn feet and put on some Givenchy boots. You know what I'm saying? Cause you a Frenchy Frenchy Elise boy. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing black power about you. Ain't nothing African revolutionary about you. Take off the goddamn military jacket. Put on a Montclair jacket. Okay. Take off the goddamn military uniform. Put on, put on some Balenciaga shoes, my nigga. Take off the goddamn military uniform. Put on a Hermes outfit. You know what I'm saying? Because instead of cosplaying as if you are a rebel or a revolutionary, you should put on some French luxury outfits because you are not. You are not of that. That cloth you are a frenchy frenchy elise boy you know what i'm saying you kissing the boot of the french white man ain't nothing revolutionary about you let's continue now let's get into the current developments that are coming out of chad take a look up on the screen let's read it together a chadian national was reportedly killed by a french soldier provoking angry protests inside the country the incident happened at the french military base in fay Largeau in chad reports suggest that the male victim was shot in the head point blank after an altercation apparently he'd gone to seek treatment at the base's health center one senior official a member of the Chad National Assembly and a national advisor posted a video. He said he would initiate local mobilization to drive out the French from their base if the killer legionnaire wasn't thrown inside a dungeon. Chad has previously cracked down on anti-French protests and imprisoned opposition leaders. That's why I said these boys is some Elise boys because they have actually persecuted their own citizens to maintain the interests of France. France maintains more than 5,000 troops in Chad as well as an air base in the capital. After the death of Idris Debi at the front lines in 2021, France backed his son, Mohamed Idris Debi. The latter assumed power without holding any elections. It was a coup in all but name. So you see what I'm saying? One coup happens in Niger, it's time to mobilize the, it's time to mobilize ECOWAS. A coup happens in a coup happens in Chad and France inviting them to the Elysee. Man, listen, you boys are some clowns. Boys are some clowns, man. It is what it is though. Let's continue. Take a look up on the screen. Deadly anti-French protests in Chad after an altercation between a French and local soldier. After a French soldier in a quarrel with a local military man shot him dead, protests erupted in the city of Faya in Chad. And during those protests, there were actually two citizens of Chad that were actually killed and many more wounded. Take a look up on the screen. Two Chadians killed at a French military base in Chad. In the midst of demonstrations protesting the murder of a Chadian soldier who attacked a French doctor, the Chadian army killed two individuals on Wednesday who were attempting to sneak into a French military base in the city of Faye Largeau. So similar to the protests that were happening in Niger over the past weekend when they stormed the military base, the citizens of Chad stormed the French military base and the, the Chadian army actually killed two of their own citizens in order to protect the French military base. And that's why we always got to show love to our family on the continent because this is the reality when you fight against these, these colonial forces, man. Because these puppet regimes will not hesitate to shoot their own citizens dead to protect the interests of the European. I mean, that's just the reality, bro. That's the reality. These puppet regimes will have no problem shooting their own fellow African dead to protect some white man out in Paris, some white man back in London, some white man back in Washington. That's the reality. So when you see them going going up against these, these colonial forces, it's a, it's a big deal, bro. It's a big deal. Let's continue. Now, this headline is actually coming from the French media, France 24. They say a French army medic fatally shoots a Chadian soldier after being attacked. An army nurse at a French military base in northern Chad shot dead a Chadian soldier who had attacked him, triggering protests by the local people. So, according to the French, uh, according to the French military, they say that a Chadian soldier had came to the military base for medical treatment. And then for whatever reason, he began, he began attacking the doctor, the, the military doctor or whatever. And the military doctor drew his weapon and shot the, uh, shot the man dead in the head. So, you know, according to the French, it was self-defense. So anyways, I wasn't there, man. I'm just reporting the news, man. Let's continue. France is struggling with a wave of discontent amongst its former African colonies, where coups in Mali and Burkina Faso have prompted it to pull its forces out of these countries. It is also under pressure to quit Niger, whose pro-French elected president, Mohamed Bazoum, was toppled back in July. Now, take a look up on the screen. France has had a garrison at Fay Largeau in Chad for 40 years. 40 years, bro. 40 years. Now, keep in mind, they've been in Chad since like the 1890s, though. They've been, they, they've been in that region getting active since the 1890s, and they're still, they're still here, bro. It's, it's, it's been over 100 years, bro. Let's continue. Protests erupt in Chad after the death of a soldier in French military care. On Wednesday night, residents at Fair Largeau gathered to hold demonstrations and attempted to breach the perimeter of a French military base. I'm telling you, man. The family on the continent, they getting busy. Let's continue. In the city of Fair Largeau, Chad, tensions escalated as protests erupted following the tragic death of a Chadian soldier while under the care of a French doctor. This incident had led to the demands for the withdrawal of French military forces from the country and heightened concerns over a potential nationwide spread of protests. 
On Wednesday night, residents of Faye Largeau gathered to hold demonstrations and attempted to breach the perimeter of a French military base. The soldiers' death at the hands of a French doctor incited anger amongst the locals, resulting in a volatile situation. Tragically, the conversations at the base resulted in approximately 15 people suffering injuries of varying degrees, with women and children among the victims. Man, y'all boys, y'all boys put bullets to your own women and children to protect the white man back in Paris. How dare y'all boys, man? How dare y'all boys, man? Take that military bullshit off. Y'all some y'all some Elise boys. Put on some Givenchy. Put on some Louis Vuitton. Put on some Montclair. Put on some Balenciaga. Take off that military bullshit that you wearing. Some clowns, man. Some clowns. You put bullets in the bodies of your women and children to protect the white man back in France. How dare you, bro? How dare you? Keep in mind, the Debbie family has been in power in Chad for over 30 years. Since the late 80s, early 90s, bro. And they talking about democracy. Fuck out of my face with that democracy. Let's continue. In response to the escalating situation, most of the French military personnel stationed at the base were evacuated to the capital by plane. Currently, the French military base remains surrounded by the Chadian military to prevent further breaches by the protesters. Everest Tolde, a Chadian political scientist, has said that the Chadian parliament has called for the withdrawal of French military forces from the country in the wake of the tragic incident. The protests in Faye Largeau have raised concerns that similar demonstrations could emerge across the nation. And by the way, this is not the first time that the Chadian military has assassinated their own citizens to protect france i believe sometime last year they killed like they killed like a hundred of their own people that were protesting against france they shot like it was like 75 people or like 100 people yeah that were protesting against france opposition groups protesting against the french military presence inside the country so these boys like i said they some elise boys they be at the Champs elysee they, they be up in paris they be at the eiffel tower you know what i'm saying they be eating, you know they be eating snails and shit these boys is not real african men they're not real african men they're not they're not they're not. Anyways, let's continue. The roots of the French presence in Chad can be traced back to the colonial era when France, like other European powers, was engaged in the colonization of Africa. This interest in Chad located in North Central Africa was driven by strategic geographical position as well as its proximity to the Sahel. French colonial rule in Chad began through a series of military expeditions and treaties with local leaders during the late 19th and early 20th century. Chad eventually became part of French Equatorial Africa, a federation of French colonies in Central Africa that included Gabon, the Central African Republic, and Congo Brazzaville. During the colonial period, French authorities in Chad primarily focused on economic exploitation. The colony's resources, including the agricultural products and minerals, were extracted to benefit the French Empire. This economic exploitation played a significant role in shaping Chad's colonial history. Now, usually in the Western media, when they talk about the geopolitical situation in Africa, they always want to talk about, they never want to talk about it in its full totality. They always talk about little isolated events, you know, the fight on terrorism, the jihadists, you know, they never want to talk about the full timeline. You know, me, I take into account the entire timeline. I don't care about your little Operation Barcane that was only in the past 10 years. I'm talking about the entire multi-century relationship that we as black African men have had with these European motherfuckers from France. That is what I talk about. That, that is the timeline of events. That's the context that I operate in. So when we discuss these events, we have to take into account the entire geopolitical context. Apart from the fact that the Debbie family has been in power for over 30 years, we got to talk about when France first arrived to the area. We got to talk about pre-colonial Chad up until the present day. The French first began making their presence felt in the area now known as Chad back in the 1880s when French explorers began taking on military expeditions going into Chad. The French claimed control over northern Chad around this period. In 1900, the French established a colony of French Equatorial Africa, which included Chad, Gabon, Congo, and Central African Republic. From 1905 to 1910, there were several rebellions. There were several military clashes between the French occupying forces and the local native military forces. That was back when the military men of Chad were real black African men, taking up arms against the French military. That, that was when they were real men. You know, the current Chad military... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they are. They some Elise boys right now. But this was back in the day when they were real black African men taking up arms to protect their national territory against the invaders. I don't know what happened now. I don't know what the hell going on now. By the time World War One popped off, France had solidified its control over Chad and actually used Chadian military troops in various campaigns across Europe. In 1920, Chad became a separate colony from French Equatorial Africa, and the French established a colonial administration to govern the territory individually. By 1922. The French introduced a system of forced labor, aka they introduced slavery. Yes, yeah, slavery also happened on the African continent as well. It was not just something that happened in the in the European colonies. No, the Europeans brought slavery to the African continent. Yes, yes indeed. Yes indeed. And they put the Chadian citizens in slavery. Just like they put a bunch of other African nations in slavery. By the late 1940s, early 1950s, the decolonization movement began to gain momentum across the continent and political parties began to emerge advocating for the independence of Chad from the French colonial empire. 
By the 1960s, Chad had gained their alleged independence from France under their first president. But the French presence in their economy, in their military, it still remains still to this day. Their presence is still felt. Like I said, they've had a military base in Fayel Arjo for 40 years. We mentioned that earlier. And France has economic and political interests in various industries and sectors across Chad, particularly in energy, agriculture, and many other sectors. For example, oil and energy, the French energy companies have had a significant presence in Chad's oil sector, similar to Gabon. Chad is an oil producing country and French companies have been involved in exploring and extracting the oil reserves. But anyways, man, I just wanted to deliver, uh, I just wanted to deliver that news story, man. You know, these boys, these boys shooting their own citizens, these boys shooting their own brothers, their own women and children to protect the French, man, man. Like I said, just like I said in my song that I play at the end of my video, what did I say? Look how the mighty have fallen, man. Look how the mighty have fallen. Matter of fact, we out. It's your boy Nevercari Dessaline back in the billy. Yes, indeed. Cash up up on the screen. Play, play the music, man. Play the goddamn music. We out. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applaud it. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart it be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. No, they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling attention. Enemy watching, he blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hour with it, wage. I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play all my money, I see you ain't caught. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so elite. Shorty be charged and I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.